Okay, so uh, today I'm going to be making a short video on kind of tearing down this uh, engine that I pulled out of my truck. Uh, this engine is already garbage. Uh, the main webs are cracked, and I will show that in a bit. We're hoping everything else is okay, like camshaft and crank and everything. So we're going to pull the heads off here in a little bit. I'm getting the injection pump off. All right, we got the injection pump off. Let's pull these valve covers. That one's a little loose right there. These have plastic rocker buttons. Most of these are tight. That one's loose. That one's very loose. Otherwise, not too bad. A little loose, loose. A loose okay so this side's not as bad so now we're going to pull our rocker shafts and uh i've got new push rods for whatever i end up doing with the future motor but so yeah we don't really care about those okay so we're pretty much ready to start removing the heads and now that is the order that we need to remove the bolts in. Okay, we got all our head bolts uh, kind of incrementally removed in that pattern. I just put these sort of back in. This head weighs about 75 pounds. So, I had a bad head gasket somewhere. I don't know which side. I'm looking for signs of it. I don't see. It may have been the other side. So, I don't really see anywhere on here. That looks like exhaust gases were passing through. So here's a good look too. You can see how glazed those cylinders are. That's actually got a tiny bit of, looks like flash rust in there. I can't tell. None of the pistons are cracked or melted. So that's good. Obviously I can check them out better. This one might be, I'll have to clean them up, pull them out and check them later. On our head here, this side is cracked. Both the inner two ones don't appear to be cracked. Both the outer ones are cracked right there in between the valves. Uh, that's very common on these also. I don't really see any spots where the head gasket failed. It's a little clean right there, but you'd see black marks most likely where the exhaust gas was passing through so we'll pull the pull the other side and see what we can find there okay driver's side head here same store as the other side both the two outside cylinders are cracked the inside too i can't see any cracks but we don't know yet and right here is where our bad head gasket was you see that spot right there and then same thing on the block here you can see where the exhaust gases were starting to pass up through there so this head might be warped. Uh, we're going to check them for uh, flatness or straightness and uh, get them machined accordingly. Let's pull this head gasket off. Yeah, I mean, that, that was 100% it right there. That's very obvious. 
Okay. So from there, we know we have decent heads. I don't think that these two cracks are leaking. Um, I'll get them checked out if they go into the valve seats too. That's also an issue. So this head will need to get checked out further, but so far that's not too bad. We might have a good set of heads still. Uh, we'll see what else we can salvage. Okay. So now I've pulled the water pump and timing cover off. Uh, you can see, I don't know if that's within spec, but I doubt it. Uh, that's also pretty common on these. But let's pull our timing gear chain, and I really want to see what the camshaft looks like. Okay, so the service manual just says use two pry bars to pull it out. Okay, all right, we've got our lifters out. Let's pull the camshaft here. Uh-oh, that's not the way you want to pull it. All right. There's our cam. It actually looks uh, pretty good. You may not be able to see this well on camera, but that, it looks very good, actually. So, that's good. That's one expensive part we don't have to buy. So, yeah, you can see how badly worn these cam bearings are. This was the original reason uh, that the oil pressure was low. And I was kind of tearing this thing down. Uh, obviously, now, for other reasons, that doesn't really matter. But on the bright side, our camshaft's good. Uh, so, I think we're about ready to start pulling uh, pistons and the crank and uh, keep our fingers crossed on that one. So I figured I'd go ahead and show kind of why this block is junk. See right there, there's a good crack on that one. See that crack there? That one's cracked. And it's the same story on the other side. Yep, there's that one. There's that one. I don't know if this one's cracked. But, uh, yeah, so cylinders are junk, which that could be fixed. But those cracks, especially on this side here, I mean, it's, it's so bad. You're never, I mean, this block is junk. Uh, it's, I'm kind of lucky that uh, it didn't break in the truck while I was driving. Kind of running out of room in here. And that's pretty much all there is left to do, so. I'll probably pull one or two pistons and uh, see what they look like, see what the uh, bearing journals look like, and uh, we'll call that a video. Let's see what we find. Probably just going to pull one of these. I don't even think I'm going to pull the pistons because we've already really seen the bores. Uh, and at that point, the only thing to look at is the piston skirts and stuff. But probably be buying new ones anyways so not worried about that we'll just see what it looks like in here and uh i'm gonna call it a day all right couple scratches let me get something doesn't look really damaged so there's that, um, obviously not amazing, but it's not really that concerning. It's not that bad. No deep scratching really, just regular wear. So that's good, that's good news. We have a good crank. We have good uh, connecting rods, probably going to replace pistons. We do have a good camshaft. We have a lot of good parts. The heads are most likely salvageable. 
Um, obviously the rest of this stuff is all good pretty much. All right, just for the heck of it, I pulled a piston off. It's not really as bad as I was expecting. I've got a bit of scratching. These are probably still usable. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna look into it. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this one. There'll be more of this stuff coming soon uh, when I get that block back from the machine shop and some other good parts. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for more of this and whatever else I get my hands on.